Hi, welcome back to my channel. Um, third full length video, so still getting used to it. Um, rearranged some of the books in the background, so hopefully that's a little less chaotic than it was in the last two videos. That was kind of driving me crazy, but probably something that only I really noticed. Um, today I'm going to do March favorites. I can't believe it's April already. I feel like every YouTuber I've been watching has been saying that, but I'm a teacher at, the lo at my local university, which I think I've mentioned. I'll talk about that more at some point. Um, and my students will be done. Their final papers are due on April 29th, so I have three weeks. I still haven't graded their last batch of papers, so I'm slightly panicking. I think they're more excited than panicked, but yeah, it's April and that's just, I don't know where the semester went, I don't know where this year is going, it's just crazy. Um, but yeah, anyway, we'll get to it. So the first one, um, I'm just going to mention it really briefly, it's the Eyelor Brow Palette that I mentioned in my Sephora haul. Um, I love it. I do have to usually use like the end of um, my nail clipper or something to open it because my thumbnails are not that great. Um, they're kind of weak so the, um, the closure on this can usually break my nail. Um, I don't feel like that would be a problem for most people. Um, it's just my thumbnails are really brittle. Um, but as you can see, I'm going to pop this out. As I showed you in my haul video, it's got the gel, the powder, and the highlighter. I've used the highlighter a little bit. Sometimes I just use it all over my lid if I'm just doing my makeup really, really quick in the morning and I don't want to do full eye makeup. I just do my brows and then put some of that on the lid and then call it good. You could probably also use the dark powder as an eyeliner. So it's been pretty versatile. I don't use the brush that it came with. I use a different brush, but I do keep this brush in there just in case I travel. I have loved the gel. Um, today is the only day in the past month that I'm not wearing it, and it's because I just got my brows freshly done today. So um, I'll probably be laying off of this for the next week, um, but I will still, I do, I was still using it a little bit, even when my brows were a little bit more freshly tinted, um, so it's great for filling in, but yeah, today since they were just done a few hours ago, they're not looking too bad, so I'm not wearing this today, but I do wear it a lot, um, and even when my brows are not freshly tinted, like yesterday when my brows were completely blonde and like my natural color, hair color, this stuff covers it completely. So it's great um, and has totally saved me a lot of money because it means I don't have to go get my brows tinted every couple of weeks. Um, next favorite is just a tinted moisturizer. This is by Eminence Organic Skin Care. Not sure if that'll focus or not. Um, I'm still working on my camera skills. Um, this is the Vanilla Latte Tinted Moisturizer. It's got an SPF 25, which is great. Um, and I love this line. Eminence is what I use for all of my, well not all of my skincare, most of my skincare. I'll probably do a skincare video um, in a couple weeks or so. Um, I'm just adding a couple products so I'm kind of still tweaking it a bit. But for the most part, Eminence is the main brand that I use. Um, I like the quality of the ingredients. I like the way that it works on my skin. So the tinted moisturizer is great and it gives my skin a nice color. Um, I'm very pale to begin with, but I have a little bit of redness from acne scarring. Um, I'm not wearing tint, I just had a facial as well, so I'm wearing very minimal makeup, just some blush and some powder, um, and then mascara, obviously. Um, anyway, yeah, as it's been getting hotter, here in Arizona, this has just been nice to put a little bit of color on my skin even though I'm not, I don't let myself get too much sun, um, and it gives me the protection of the SPF, which on Mondays when I'm walking around on campus, 
um, and walking across campus from my office to my classroom, it's really nice to have that sun protection. So yeah, this works great. And then if I want a little bit of extra coverage, I just use my Jane Iredale uh, powder foundation and I just put a light dusting of that on top of this and it works great. Um, the other favorite, um, the mascara that I've pretty much been using all month is the Lancome Hypnostrama. I really love this. Um, I got it in a small sample, um, oh gosh, last summer. And of the five samples in the kit, this was the one that I liked the best. I like that the brush is slightly curved. Um, that might be a little bit hard to see. Um, but it's got a slight curve. I just feel like it does a really good job on my lashes. My lashes are really long because I use Latisse. And so some mascaras, I found that as my lashes grew, the mascaras stopped working as well. They just made a mess of my eyelashes. But this actually works really well with the length. It gives them a nice amount of volume, I feel. Um, and really works well, especially with the outer um, edges of my lashes and gives them a bit of a nice little flick, I guess, is a word I can use. So yeah, so that's the mascara that I've been using. I do love the Buxom mascara that I mentioned in my Sephora haul video. Um, the problem is that kit, the Dare to Stare kit that I featured in the Sephora haul, when I finally went to unpack it, one of the wands of one of the mascaras, the brush broke off inside the mascara. So I had to take it back and the Sephora didn't have another one. So I wasn't able to repurchase that, unfortunately. I was really, really bummed because I really wanted to use that set and then it wasn't online. So I will get a buxom, full-size buxom, buxom mascara again. Um, probably when the Lancome runs out. Um, for So, as I've mentioned here in Arizona, it's starting to get very, very hot. I'm loving watching um, the YouTubers and Instagrammers and just various people that I follow on social media who live in colder climates. I really wish I could trade you guys. I totally would. I would absolutely send you all of our sunshine and our... 90 degree temperatures in a heartbeat. I will take your snow. I will take your rain. I will take your freezing temperatures. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I miss winter. We don't get much of winter to begin with here in the desert. And we started getting 90 degree temperatures in February, which was really annoying because it feels like we're cheated out of what little bit of winter we get. Um, and now, yeah, today is a really weird and rare cloudy day, so my lighting I feel like is a bit not normal, and I've got lots of lights on in my flat. Um, but yeah, I think it's supposed to rain. Fingers crossed we might get some rain tomorrow. Um, I think it's supposed to drop back down into the 70s on Saturday or Sunday, which would be amazing. Um, but then it's right back up to upper 80s and 90s, and I think this is going to be the last cool down we get. Because in April in, in Phoenix tends to be pretty solidly in the upper 80s and 90s and upper 90s, and then usually by that last week of school, um, by like the first week of May, is when we crack 100 degrees. I'm not looking forward to it. Anyway, that was a ramble, but what I was the point I was trying to get to is I'm not wearing jeans and leggings and tights anymore, which means I have to shave my legs. Um, well, I don't have to. That is totally a personal preference. Um, but I prefer to because, I don't know, in the desert I just... When it gets hot, I like smooth legs. It's just a thing. Um, and so one of the products that I love um, after shaving is the Deep Steep Sugar Scrub, and this is in the Passion Fruit and Guava. Um, this is a new tub, so it still has, um, the package. I need to open this. Uh, I tried to use it yesterday, and again, bad, brittle nails means I can't rip this off, so I need to get some scissors. But this is great. It's, um, 
it's shea butter and sugar and um, it's uh, ooh gluten free and non GMO. Just notice that that makes me love it even more. Cruelty free and vegan. Um, it's great. So the ingredients are wonderful. Um, it feels amazing on the skin. Like it just feels so good. Um, it exfoliates really, really well. Um, so you get the great exfoliation, but then the, um, the shea butter and whatnot, all of the moisturizing ingredients in it, leave your skin feeling really moisturized and conditioned, uh, which I love because I don't, I totally don't need to use a moisturizer on my legs after I shave them and get out of the shower and dry off. Um, it can, to some people, might feel like it leaves a bit of a film on your skin, and I find that I do have to, after I apply it in the shower, I have to wash my hands with some soap because it, it keeps that super moisturized feeling, um, which on my hands just kind of annoys me, but it feels great on um, my arms, my skin, my chest, everywhere that I use it. Um, and so when you get out of the shower, you pat dry. Don't rub or you'll rub it completely off and that moisturizing feeling, that conditioning feeling will last um, a good long while. Like it, if I use it at night, in the morning, I still feel great and if I use it in the morning, I'm feeling great all day long. So love this stuff. It comes in a cup, two or three other scents. I know there's like a lavender one. Um, I get the passion fruit one just so that if I do use it in the morning, I'm not putting myself to sleep with lavender. Um, but yeah, love, love, love this stuff. Um, and then two nail polishes um, that I've been using. One is Essie. And this is not showing up in quite... I feel like the lighting in my flat right now is doing something weird to the colors. Um, this is actually a really bright, hot pink. It's what I'm wearing on my nails right now. And I just feel like in my monitor it's showing up like a reddish hot pink, and this is pretty solidly pink. Um, this is called Status Symbol. Um, there's a bit of a long rambling story to this um, that, I don't know. Long story short, the last time I was in London, um, last summer, the last day, the last day that I was going into London, and it was the Friday before the Monday I was flying out back to Arizona, I treated myself to a manicure at the Ted Baker and More Concept Store. Um, near Spitalfields and they used a bright pink color and I had never really worn a color that pink. I loved it so before I flew out, um, before I left Oxford, I went to the Boots in Oxford and I found this Essie color that was a dead perfect match for the salon polish that they had used and so now whenever I want to cheer myself up I and and relive that wonderful day <laughs> um, and that wonderful trip I put this color on and it just makes me smile and it makes me feel happy and when I look down and see the color on my nails I just think oh that was that was a good day that was a fun day um, so yeah so that's the Essie polish and status symbol the other color that I've been wearing a lot on this bright color theme is this one I don't know if that will focus or not I don't think it is um, sorry, I will figure out the camera eventually. Um, this is, it's a Ciate, um, polish. It's called Life's a Peach. I have the mini version because this came in the mini many month advent calendar. Um, which I highly recommend keeping your eye out for that, um, as December approaches. Because that calendar was a ton of fun, um, throughout the month of December. I loved it. Um, so this is one of the colors, and I've just been falling in love with it for spring and summer. Again, it's just a nice, bright, happy, positive color that puts me in a better mood when it's hot out and I get grumpy. Um, two more products. Um, the second to last is this little um, bottle of um, Nest fragrances in Indigo. I'm going to put some on now because I didn't put some on earlier. Um, I love this. It's, I know, I never know how to describe fragrances, but this is just very light, very fresh. Um, I was a huge fan of Nest's um, Midnight Fleur 
during the winter. But that's a heavier fragrance and I just, I can't do heavy fragrances in the summer. When it's really hot out, a heavy fragrance just makes me feel weighed down even more. So I love light, fresh um, florals and citrus and things like that. Um, so Nest uh, Indigo has been perfect. This is just a little sample that I got as a um, Beauty Rewards uh, thing from Sephora. A uh, hundred point reward a little while ago. I'm down that much so I am using it. Um, I will probably get a full size roller ball so that maybe this can stay in my purse and I can have the roller ball for at home because summer lasts forever here so I will definitely go through a roller ball. I will run out of this pretty quick. And then last because I am making this way too long uh, is a candle from Bath and Body Works. This is the London candle. They've got this whole city theme going on. London has become one of my favorites. Shocking, I know. Um, it's tea and lemon. I normally don't like lemon fla fla flavors. Well, I don't like lemon flavors. Um, I don't usually like lemon scents. It's not my favorite citrus. I prefer orange, lime, that those sorts of citruses. But I feel like the tea in this cuts the lemon in just the right way that I have completely fallen in love with this. Um, I also really love Amsterdam and New York. Those will probably make an appearance in my April favorites. But yeah, this is just, ugh. I'm, as you can see, I've already burned down half of it. Um, I've started to cut off how often I burn it towards the latter part of March because I know I'm gonna run out of this. I probably just need to go and buy a couple more and stock up. Um, I love Bath & Body Works fall scents. I love leaves, but again, in the summer, it's just, even right now, it's too hot to burn winter scents, so I love the citrus and floral to burn um, in the spring and summer. So, yes, this video is now getting too long because um, I talk too much. Thank you to everyone who has watched um, I have two subscribers last time I checked, which is, I really wasn't expecting that in the first week that I was uploading. Um, I've gotten some really lovely comments from people, and it really does mean the world to me. I was kind of prepared for either no response or negative responses. There goes my phone. Um, so to get such a positive response has really meant a lot. Um, I'm more than happy to support other small YouTubers, so if you have a channel and you've watched this and you've reached this part of the video, um, please leave a comment down below. Um, subscribe if you want to. I'm more than happy to check out your channel and leave comments and subscribe if I feel like we've got stuff in common and, you know, would be good to support each other. So. Yeah, I'm going to cut this off now and probably edit some of this out. Um, and yeah, again, I never know how to end these. So just goodbye and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.